Steve, I'm praising down to me from the very beginning. From the get-go, he's been there, and here he is today at 17, 71 years old. And thank you, Julie Taylor, for giving me that successful job um, that the world has seen and acclaimed. Thank you, Julie. Thank you, Julie. Thank you, Julie! I am thrilled to smithereen. I enjoy this. I thank you all, family and friends, for being here. It's been a lovely, lovely career. And I've got more to go. <laughs> thank you all the support of everyone on this stage and everyone in the audience who has given me support, and the gospel singer yeah. who reminded me of Halia Jackson. We have one more surprise for you. Right? So we can't get a letter from you, someone important here. So here it is, and we'll, the hard copy is on its way to you. Dear Mr. Fagan, Jill and I, Jill and I join your family, friends, and all those gathered at the Smithsonian National Museum of African American History and Culture in celebrating your invaluable contributions to American culture. Your story is one of courage, strength, and sacrifice. You came to the United States from Jamaica to pursue opportunity, and you ultimately made a name for yourself for your true calling, dance. With your innovative choreography and your willingness to break with tradition, you have cemented your place among the legendary artists who have broken the mold and taught so many others to experience the fullness of humanity through the power of the arts. And because of your groundbreaking work, you have gained worldwide recognition and made history as the longest running black choreographer on Broadway. May your legacy inspire generations to come, and may your artistry bring us closer to realizing America's full promise for everyone. Congratulations again on this distinguished honor. Sincerely, President Joseph Biden. Thanks to everyone for coming out tonight. 
Hope you enjoyed the little dancing and singing and everything. Thank you, thank you.